What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Rome Remastered Let's Play as the Brutii. So to round off what happened last time, we captured the cities of Tillis and Byzantium and we are putting the rebel force here at Mazaka under siege. But what I'm probably going to want to do is looking at this garrison here, I mean they are very low quality but they are most of their infantry is actually made up of spear troops. And my actual complement of fighting infantry is very low. I've got a significant cavalry army, which isn't uh, the best at attacking attacking cities. What I probably want to do is let that army build up with some better quality troops. And Pergamum recruited a unit of of uh, Praetorians, so let's get them up over to. This garrison force up here. Unfortunately, Nicomedia is still upset. So I'm gonna have to borrow some, borrow some uh, town watch. March you chaps up, Sardis. Yeah, you keep churning out the town watch. Orcanassus, you could probably. I think it's probably best if I can ask this, if you just keep churning out town watch, I can send them forward to pacify these other regions. So I can get these guys aboard sea. So both these guys are good generals. So it's Servius Plotius to command the new army. Let's probably get this guy to start. Pergamum's Got a governor, not a very good one. Maybe he'd better go up to Nico Media to help pacify ready, troops. These men keep marching up to the front. And I want to start building up my force here in Corinth. Let's retrain the general. But let's get. You can only get early legionaries. Over here at Athens, you can get Praetorians. Let's get a good core of Praetorians built. Sparta, you can get some early legionaries built. Corinth can pick up some Roman cavalry. Because I've got so much cash, I may as well just keep churning out troops. Sort of like what I'm doing over here. Keep recruiting men to fill up these forts, ready for the inevitable betrayal and attack on the Romans. So let's check my building browser. By Lazora can get an upgrade, which will probably be public baths, because it's likely squalor starting to kick in. Sardis. Similar sort of problem. Lots of my towns to the east are very upset. Pergamum, is it? Squalor is pretty big. May as well keep building stone walls because we do get those bonuses. Elsewhere though, we're going to have to keep uh, just keep an eye on what's going on. The yeah, anchor is still recruiting. Tarsus is still very upset, so it's likely we will get a rebellion or revolt here somewhere. Let's hit end turn. If you do get a rebellion, then we will just put the town immediately under siege as well. Brutia are on the move against Germania and Britannia. Britannia. Yeah, Tennis is very unhappy with this. Let's drop the tax rate. We just need to keep building. Keep building to try and get the populace happy again. Because again, like Thessalonica, it's Squalor's the big one, so let's get public baths to help try and reduce Squalor. Well, again, they're, they're pretty happy. But let's pro oh, let's get a 
a ship right, I think, to promote trade. Actually, no, no cultural problems there. Quinson to the north. Get a blacksmith in the market. Tarsus is finally uh, revolting. Ankara. Let's probably get a forum to try and start to reduce this cultural penalty. Tillis to the north. You're going to get Temple of Juno and sewers. So those the uh, stacks that were heading our direction have fallen back. Let's see if there are any the general. Yep. Whatever however you pronounce it. 38 percent he's got a bit better. Now we missed him. Also want my assassins to just keep knocking out the these uh do I want? Mediolanium and Synchistica. Just keep clearing them out just because they serve doesn't serve our interests. Having them there, let's build a fort which he can stay in for now. Can move up <laughs> Praetorians start to take position in the forts. Crotons now start running out of things to recruit soon. Recruitment down here is just going to keep ticking on. It's going to take some time because we've got all these Praetorians to build. You guys have got... Let's combine some of this cavalry and then disband the weakest unit. Because you don't really want to have any more any more previous you know pre-marian troops than necessary which means i'll probably get a unit of cavalry to replace that unit there actually i could do this i could do auto merge tidy them up somewhat a lot of principes which i will use it seems a shame to throw them all away immediately some assassination successes. Popularity game of the masses. Good stuff. Coming of age. Publius Brutus. Aquinson. Although, is that your... How old's our faction leader? 51. He's got time. Let's get you over to... Probably to Bylazora. Let's also check our... Family tree... Good, Tertius does have a son. Secundus. So when the map gets this wide, you, I'm using my arrow key to scroll up and down, and then um, A and D to move left and right. Getting lots of good Roman children being built, which means we will soon not be wanting for commanders. Although it looks like <laughs> it's impacting my strafing here. Okay, so move... You guys up, let's take this weak unit of cavalry out, deposit the infantry in. Just keep building up strength. Four archers, where? Oh yeah, you're going up to here. Join that force there. You're going up to command. Okay, the town's actually settled down, so let's move the Praetorians out. Move the town watch in. that's the case, it's tempting to push them up to somewhere like Ankara. Let's move up this last Praetorian unit. And let's add in two turns worth of Town Watch. Pergamum. You're on your march across, so don't worry there. You go into Pergamum. Uh, let's try and retrain the ships at Sardis, Halicarnassus. No, probably they probably can't. Re uh, they probably can't retrain them. 
Yeah, rioting. Tarsus. There is not a lot I can do about it. Because we're already at low tax rate. Except for maybe... Knock down the trader. Let's probably knock down the blacksmith. He's boosting public order, but not necessarily. Well, let's, uh, let's try it. Let's just keep... I can't knock down mines. Oh, dang. I don't mind not being as financially productive in these regions as I could be. You can just go clear out those... Clear out those rebels. We do have an assassin over here. Let's get rid of all of these. Let's hit end turn. Because we do need to pacify these... Uh, these... Our frontier territories before we can really advance. I mean, right now we have no incentive to push too far in this direction. Hello. Oh no, don't worry. I was getting confused by the... Uh... I was getting confused by the... Hey, hold on, did my... Did that guy turn to the rebels? You are my guy. Ceasefire in effect. Agent found Tarsus. Popularity gain in the Senate, which is great. Town grows. Aquinsome. Get the government building built first and foremost. Thessalonica. You can actually build after the public baths, because we do have a squalor problem there and Athens can build a palace right now. Still rioting in Tarsus and they've actually broken the two buildings that actually they broke the sewers and the temple. So it's the only things they've got going for them at the minute. Let's keep my troops or keep my men moving. Nicomedia is pacified. Don't any of these mercenaries? Not really. Nicomedia, you can recruit some cavalry. Oh, Pergamum, don't worry, you're going to get sewers soon. Apollonia. You build. So you got a stupid of sewer building. Ooh, Salone actually grew. So you can build Proconsul's Palace and then sewers. Corinth. Uh, actually, they're pretty happy with me. I've got a f wait, actually, hold on. Hold the phone. So I've still got some building here, buildings here counting against me. I'm not bothered about pop growth because they're really close to being a huge city anyway, so let's probably get a army barracks. It'll help with future recruitment. Sparta can get a next gen catapult range to offset the archery range problem here and the sewers right after that. Love of them to the north. And the blacksmith. Ecomedia. Let's get you... Pave roads to try, to try and knock down some culture penalties. Anchor's chilled out. Tars is really angry. Everyone else is getting used to the fact that we are the future. Yeah, more than happy to hang, hang to hold on there it's two turns well, to be honest, if they sallied we can just smash them with cavalry so i'm not entirely bothered about that you men all can't leave byzantium can you actually uh... hmm they don't have a barracks so i'd end up recruiting peasants or town watch to go over there myself Let's 
bring these legionaries and these praetorians General. with this force. Let's also bring the onagers over there. Now, there's rebels to the south of Bylazora, but they're not in any great strength. Just an army of peasants. Let's recruit some peasants just to help keep you guys happy. While these men push up to the bridge, to the north. We could cross some some of the Nicomedia garrison over if we needed to, like this. But I don't think we will. Let's push on up the coast against the Greeks. Tarsus still unhappy. It's likely this turn they will rebel. Let's hit end turn. Hey, that's good. That's not my agent that's, con that's converted. It's just an existing rebel merchant. I presume him sitting on that deposit doesn't negatively impact me in any other way than we don't have that resource to trade at all. I would suppose. Hello, Thrace. Let us now talk reasonably. Ooh. It's a counterfire, counteroffer. I want trade. And I want... Polarism. Very demanding. But let's see if they go for it. Actually, no. No, 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 no. Get rid of that. We declared war on Thrace. It would be unfair for me to demand their territories. Let's conduct ourselves with a bit of honour. We will... P and let's also do map info, map info. And I might actually... More demanding. Balanced. Let us end the bloodshed. So they offer. Uh, I don't mind giving them map info. Wait. Let request three share information on territories you have not scouted. Oh, thanks. I'm pretty sure that means we're not giving. The, the, I'm pretty sure that means that we've given them map info, but that wording is problematic. Keep training. Get these men over here. Thessalonica, let's recruit some regular town watch to replace your principes because they're a bit of a unnecessary commodity. Byzantium's pretty chill, surprisingly. What are they up to? Squalor's not as high as culture penalty. Very well. Let's get highways. Actually, Walls, they contribute to public order and they also deal with public uh, culture penalties. Let's get some next, get some better walls there. Building browser, Tarentum. Tarentum's getting a bit grumpy. Urban barracks, no. Oh. Um, but Squalor's huge, so let's get city planning. Suggest occur to the north. Get, get a market. Larissa. Ooh, let's get. So tempted by the urban barracks, but Curia is also pretty good for the income bonuses. Communal farming is pretty low down because we don't we don't need the population. Even though the main th problem is it's giving us culture penalty problems. If I get an urban barracks, then that's that recruitment chain completed. Kydonia, get a shipwright for that increased improved trade. File Azora. Can you get paved roads? You're still on dirt roads. Sardis. Let's probably get an aqueduct. I assume that's probably your biggest problem. Yeah. Everyone else is building, and uh, 
obviously the frontiers are a bit grumpy. Keep marching up. So Nikon Media's got the cover on the go. Anchor is recruiting early legionaries. Could probably go into Servius. Plautius' army, he'll be marching up towards Sinop, but I am going to want. Okay, cavalry there. Early legionaries there. Uh, ooh, legionary cavalry. Right, let's cancel recruitment of two of these units. Start to get some legionaries up here. Ooh, some urbans from Pergamum and send them east. Tarsus is finally chilled out. Don't worry. We're all good friends. Antioch is our next target, but I really can't move on Tarsus for a while. Especially as I destroy the barracks and can't recruit the garrison. That's why these guys need to stay near. Maybe these are just infantry. He's still in place waiting for the Germans to do something. You're in place waiting for the Egyptians to do something. All of our fleets are pretty inactive. Push up to this Armenian town, Galerius Civilianus. Ah, you're my assassin. Nias of Patavium. No, it's a different merchant though, we'll take him out. Then over here, you're going to go after Caius of Suggestica. Bonk. You're going to go after Tiberius of Rome. you got to wonder if sooner or later the Senate's going to work out that I'm just killing all of their uh, agents that are anywhere near our, our income. Good house, our popularity amongst the people's going up generally. Till then, turn. My agent's displaced the rebel agent, and they've got a brief skirmish against the Greeks, which we've won. Victory! So the army's a bit surplus to requirements now. Uh, okay, let's take Ecto unit away, put the shooter in. Generals are moving along. So I'm curious if the rebels are going to sally. I mean, it would be it would be peculiar if they don't. But then again, so the thing with Rome in this game is that sometimes it feels like the. Uh, Some games, the rebels always sally at the last turn. Yeah, there we go. Yes! Yes! Leave your walls! Yeah, so I know Eastern Spearmen are pretty pants, but in in Rome Remaster, they've been buffed a little bit, little bit as far as I'm aware. So they're not terrible. They do have silver protection, um, but... The main thing is that. Okay, so. Actually, no, I might stay where I am. You stay where you are. You're okay to stay where you are. Turn skirmish mode off. Actually, you might need... Go forward a little bit. In order to start to... Uh, engage the rebels. One thing I'm acutely aware of is the fact that, actually, you know, these... You guys start to uh, demolish the gatehouse. So that if we do charge them, they lose the safety of their... They lose the safety of getting 
uh, support from the towers. Because I don't want to run in and I don't want to run in, run in with cavalry, and then just have my. Oh, yeah, that's their archers. I don't want to run in with my cavalry and then get shot to pieces by their towers. I'd rather knock the tower down. And that gives me a bit of a free roam with cavalry, at least over here. Don't have an attack ground stance, do you? So their spearmen are trying to get to. Oh, yeah, first of all, all my front line. Javelins at will. God damn, that's some danger close with that artillery fire. That's a hell of a miss. I don't mind. There we go. Pontic. Okay, keep pulling back away from the towers. I don't want. I don't want my men to get sniped by the towers to give them easy kills. So it's not happy to chew up their cavalry. No, you're getting shot at. Let's just let my archers do the work. So you guys charge in and hit the general. Well, not the general. I'm just in. No, it's a. Oh, yeah, rebel generals. So you were getting shot at from the tower. So you don't really want to get too close. I mean, I'm already getting a bit too close. Yeah, there we go. I lost my cavalry there because of it. So throw another unit in to go hit them. Yeah, just try and hit them with my armor. I might actually button up in order to try and save their shots in case they're needed to try and breach a wall if the AI decide to be a bit silly. Hey, there is their actual general. Okay, now this unit cavalry can push in. Let's halt my archer fire. Get these guys around this spearman. Because now they've got... It's only that tower to worry about. I mean, look at this for weird decision making. Okay, get the cavalry back.
So then my archers, well, my archers need to make make a hole in the wall to be ready for a uh, general advance, I suppose. It looks like they really do not want to commit their cavalry. Let's use my depleted unit to start chase down these guys. I think that's the answer. Show no mercy. So we've broken our uh, broken away in. Down. Make sure their soldiers are buried beneath the ruins. Try and aim for that section there as well. It's chiefly because lots they got here is archers, peasants, archers, peasants. They got some eastern infantry. make a way in. So I want to hit two sections of wall down so they can't bottleneck us. Not that I foresee any great risk, but... So these men... Get them in the breach. Where their infantry are destined to hold position. So they're in the breach. Yep, there go the peasants. These honors actually just start start getting to work on the infantry behind the lines because we've got sufficient. I don't think getting having one breach is going to be difficult. I want my I want some archers to get close in order to uh, go around and start to secure the towers. If possible, I'd like some principes to try and run around this combat to try and get some damage on those archers. Because arch fire can be a bit of a drain. I don't want this cavalry to get sucked in in the, the combat. Just run past it. They're likely to suffer some casualties. The enemy general oh, there we go. Away. This is no way for a leader to behave, but in battle, it's beyond belief. Great gods be praised. The enemy general is killed. Fear makes a home in our enemy's hearts. So I just set my cavalry to walk in, or my infantry to walk in. My general, well, not my general, my infantry here, just focus on. My cavalry here, just focus on killing, killing these men before they make it back to the center. So then, all this infantry that's working their way to the center. Cavalry may get pushed back, but to be honest, it looks like they're uh, 
Looks like their men are sufficiently upset for it to not really be a problem. My archers are starting to secure the walls. Let's bring up some more cavalry. Yeah, my cavalry is losing. They're losing numbers. They're a bit upset. There we go. Prince Pays are involved. It's the lone javelin. Ends up in the herd. As usual, you always want. Which is the infantry? The pathfinding isn't. Let's assume that the cavalry will get come around here to deal with those guys. You hit them. Granted, those are. Well, to be honest, those are only cavalry. You get back. You're in the way of the javelin fire. See how they slowly shuffle into the combat. These men are going to knock out these archers. Cavalry forming a huge chain. But taking. But they are taking the towers, taking the gates. Good stuff. This rebellious city. They will rule the, rue the day that they betrayed me. There we go. They shall be put to the sword. Although I'm, I'm glad they did, Sally. Because it has happened to me before in this game that they, they kind of don't. They just... They sit there and if they don't think they can win, they just... Exterminate the population. They didn't seem to appreciate it. Okay, we train the men, prepare some buildings, gonna knock down some of these, although it looks like it doesn't really help. No tax rate 70, no, not bad. Let's get Shrine of Juno, let's get some sewers up in here. Get in. So who are you? Hmm. Maybe the Greeks are seeking to try and rebel. Pull these cavalry out. Nicomedia. Have some more town watch. Soon you will not need town watch. You will be as happy as the people at Harkonnesus. Hmm. Okay, let's have a look at the army production down. Well, the army being built down here. I like. Ooh, looks like the faction leader died. It's just the Stati sat, sat there. Okay, let's take. I want to try and keep my army in one. in a quite a homogeneous clump. So if we can get four cavalry. Four legionary cohort, build up the build up the um, Praetorians. Probably get two auxilia just to act as. Actually, no, I can, I can get triara from somewhere, can't I? I'm sure. Or do they get punted because of the uh, the reforms? Looks like they did. Let's get some onagers from Thessalonica. Also look to get some... Thessalonica can also pick up some legionary cavalry to send down with them.
you guys also start to recruit Praetorians because it looks like they might take a bit of time. So we've got our archer contingent, generally. So let's take two archers from you, two archers from you. Okay, cool. But looking at the timer, I believe that's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.